to be learning how to knit my basket weave scarf and what you will need is some if you want to do it in this color I'm using the red heart super saver metallic and um, red rouge and I have my five millimeter furls knitting needles a pair of scissors and a darning needle so what we're going to do is we're going to start off casting on 20 stitches it's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen whoops eighteen nineteen and 20. Um, you can make the scarf as wide as you like. Um, these cast on stitches determine the width. Um, I'm just doing 20 stitches because I just want to make a quick little video tutorial for you guys. But um, you have to do a multiple of five. So um, once you get your cast on stitches ready to go, we're going to start off by knitting the first row. So you're going to knit all the stitches all the way across. And I wanted to add also, if you subscribe to my channel, um, all of my subscribers will be eligible for my monthly giveaways. And um, some of my giveaways could be like furls, crochet hooks. Um, I also have a 3, 3D printing business. And um, I'll also be giving away some of my um, custom designed yarn bowls or crochet hook displays. Um, it, could, it could be a yarn kit where you get some of my patterns and um, some crochet hooks with the pattern as well. So if you um, so kindly subscribe to my channel, you'll be eligible for um, my monthly giveaways. I'm hoping to start the giveaways um, as soon as I get a good amount of subscribers because right now I only have 30 because I just started doing some YouTube t tutorials on crochet and knitting about two weeks ago, so I'm fairly new. Okay, so now that we've knitted our stitches, we're going to knit the next row. You might hear some weird noises out on the outside. It's just more quiet out here because I have three kids in the house. And I'm in Texas, so it's kind of hot out here right now. And there's like some sprinkler that randomly goes off every now and then, I think. So that's what you'd probably hear in the background. Or when the neighbor lets their dog out to use the bathroom, all that thing does is bark the entire time. So if you hear barking, that's my neighbor. All right, down to our last stitch. And now what we're gonna do, since we have our two rows, we're going to knit five, purl five, knit five, purl five, and you're going to repeat that. And I'll have the written pa pattern in my Etsy shop for a dollar. It's one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to purl five. One. Two, three, four, five. Now we're going to knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to purl five. One, two, three, four, and five. 
Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn our work around. And wherever you see the knits, you're gonna knit. When you see the pearls, you're gonna purl knits and pearls. So this is gonna be knit five, purl five, knit five, purl five. And um, you're gonna do that until you have five rows of knits and five rows of pearls. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five. And that's my second row of knits. I'm gonna do my row of pearls. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna do my knits. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to do my pearls. Whoops, I'm gonna put that in the front. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're gonna keep doing this same pattern until we have five rows. So, so far we have two rows of knits, two rows of pearls right there. And we're going to keep doing that until we get to five. And once I get to five, I'll meet you right back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay. I just completed my five rows and now we're going to do a switch. We're going to, instead of knitting the first five, we're going to purl the first five. and then we will knit the next five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna knit one, two, three, four, Five. So what we're actually, what we're doing is we're knitting or we're purling on top of the knits and knitting on top of the pearls. So purling on the knits and knitting on the pearls. So since this is five rows of knits or five stitches right here on my needle of knits, we're gonna purl those. One, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna knit five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do five rows of exactly what we just did. And then that's how our basket weave is gonna start taking shape. Pearl. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna pearl. One, two, three. Four, five, and then we're going to knit. One, two, three, four, and five. And um, you'll continue doing that until you get five rows of pearls, five rows of pearls five rows of knits, five rows of pearls, five rows of knits. Then you're gonna start over and you're going to do the five rows of knits, five rows of pearls, five rows of knits, five rows of pearls. And you're gonna keep doing that until however long you want your scarf. When I'm finished, um, I will come back and show you how to cast off. 
Now that I have the length of the scarf that I want, I'm going to just knit two rows. And then after we knit these two rows, we're going to cast off. And I'll show you how to do that too. And um, I wanted to add something. I wanted to say that Yarnspirations actually just gave me permission to um, do YouTube tutorials on their patterns, their free patterns that they have on their website. Okay, now you're gonna flip this over and then you're going to um, knit this last row. I can get my yarn behind my needle. But um, Your Inspirations gave me permission to do YouTube, tutor YouTube tutorials on their patterns. So I'm already, I already have two of them that I'm working on. Um, one's going to be a crochet scarf and another one's going to be a knit scarf. So I'll be working on a crochet and a knit as my first two patterns or my first two tutorials that I'm going to put up on YouTube and I'm hoping to have them up by this weekend. So, but, um, oh, if you subscribe to my channel and um, also go like my Facebook page, I'll put updates on um, what YouTube tutorials will be coming out and um, the materials and everything you'll need for it. So you can get ready to have everything you need make the scarves. Okay, now that we have our two knit rows, now we're going to cast off. And I'll show you how to do that. You're going to knit two stitches, one and two. And then you're going to take this stitch right here, your first one, and you're going to cross it over the second one. And you're going to knit another stitch, cross over, Knit another stitch, cross over, knit, cross over, knit, and you're going to do this all the way down to the end of the row. And I'm also going to do a, a beginner um, video tutorial on scarves that's going to show you how to cast on, how to do the knit stitch, and I'm actually it's going to be um, scarves from Grey's Anatomy. It's going to be a Karev scarf and an Izzy scarf. The Izzy scarf is going to be the scarf that she knitted Bailey when Izzy was undergoing cancer treatment. And then um, the other scarf is going to be the one that Karev's mother knitted him. And they're both the same pattern, but um, it's a really easy scarf if you're a beginner. It's probably... The, the first thing, the first basic type of pattern a beginner should actually start with. So that'll be fun. And we're still casting off. I'm hoping I'm keeping this in the video and the screen because there's a glare on my screen from the sun then I can't hardly tell if my hands are in the shot or not but I'll put links to my Facebook page and um, I have two Facebook pages I've got the Frisco doll maker and poppy 3d Frisco doll makers the my page where I um, host the post the events for the dolls that I make for the kids for the doll hunts and stuff for my city Okay, and we got our last stitch right here. You're gonna pull out your needle and then you're gonna cut you a nice piece of yarn. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're just gonna pull that up like that. And then you're gonna take your darning needle 
and we're going to weave in our ends. The way you do that is um, I like to come in through a stitch right here. And you're basically just hiding your tails. And you can just weave in through some stitches. Here and make sure I get it in there really well. Weave in through a couple more. I'm gonna go up through these. I'm gonna make sure this tail ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and some people um, like to kind of tie it, but I, what I do is so I know that my tail isn't going anywhere. Is I take some fabric tack. And I'll put a little dot on there and let it dry and then that way you know your your yarn isn't gonna go anywhere cut that off then you go to your other tail that you started off with and you weave that in just the same way and I'm gonna weave it in through some, some of my purl stitches go up and then back down. Do one more good measure. And then I'm going to snip the yarn off. And then you're all done. So if you if you do make the scarf, I'd love to see pictures of it. And you can post them on my Facebook page. I'd love to see how it turned out. But this is the basket weave scarf right here. So thank you for watching.